guys, so I'm making breakfast slash lunch, whatever. Um, it's kind of breakfast food though. I'm making some sushi rice, some just sticky rice. I'm gonna cut up a grapefruit. I'm gonna have some of my little turkey smokies, a soft boiled egg, and I don't have any avocado. I wish I did, but I don't have any and I don't feel like going to get some. So that's what I'm having for breakfast. And I'm watching Preacher's Daughter, which I don't know why is like a really terrible show, but yeah, and then I'm doing some homework. I have um, some chapter assignments to do for class. So yeah. And then I'm figuring out what I'm going to cook. Um, this guy I'm talking to, his name's James, and he watches my videos, so it's probably really weird. <laughs> hey! Whatever, I don't really care. Um, so basically, uh, he's coming home today, and I really like him, so I'm going to cook him dinner. <laughs> so I'm deciding what I'm going to cook. Ooh, my sushi rice. Calm yourself. So I'm deciding what I'm going to cook for dinner. I don't know yet. I think I kind of have an idea. So I'll let you know when I figure it out and how it goes. Wish me luck. Grapefruits, little smokies, some rice, and a soft-boiled egg. Ooh, I'm so hungry. Get some water. Get out of there, Missy. Isabella does a lot for me. She won't even sit with me, little brat. Have a kiss? Oh, now I want to, huh? Yeah, I will. No. Oh, it's so cute. All right, guys. I feel like I've been a horrible vlogger. Um, I really have been. But I'm making a green juice, so I figured I would talk to you while I make it because I have some kind of exciting news. And by kind of, I mean really exciting. Okay, so I'm making green juice. I'm going to use cucumber, spinach, apple, and lemon. <sighs> Guys, this guy is like perfect. I don't even know. I like, okay, so I talked to, a, I've talked to a lot of guys, not like talked, I don't know how to say. I've gone on like a couple dates with a bunch of different guys. And if you guys follow me, you know that I have horrible luck with that because they just never end up being what I want. And like, sorry, I'm scraping the seeds of this cucumber. Um, but this one is like different. Like, I feel like, I don't know, just really different around him and so amazing. And it's like, you guys were so right when you tell me all the time, stop looking Kelly and things will happen because it's so stinking true. So like insanely true. Um, I cooked some dinner last night and it went really well. Oh, so I'll turn this way. And um, yeah, I don't know, he's just like, not what I expected in such a good way. And like, I don't know. I feel like vulnerable and like I could get my heart broken. But that's kind of in a good way. Like I don't, I don't fear it, but at the same time I'm welcoming the fact that like I have feelings that I haven't, I haven't felt in a while. And I'm so happy. It kind of messes up all of my other plans if anything happens, but you know what? I only made these plans because I didn't know what else I was going to do. So if someone, the right person comes into my life, it can't be that bad of a thing. I don't know, you guys. <sighs> it's like really scary to think about, but really exciting. I really, really, really like him. So yeah, yesterday we just kind of like hung out, watched the Oscars a little bit. Um, I cooked him dinner. It turned out pretty good. And um, yeah, he's at work right now and I just got back from class and I think we're gonna hang out tonight. I hope we hang out tonight because, oh, he just texted me. <laughs> I told him what I was doing today because he asked me what I was doing. He like always texts me, which is so stinking sweet. Um, he's like everything that I want, like I don't know. It's weird. He just like makes me feel really happy and special. I haven't felt this since like my, not even my last boyfriend that I had long term that like moved away. Um, I didn't have that with him. Like we, our relationship started off horrible and ended horrible as well. Um, we were just dysfunctional. <laughs> but the guy before that, I don't think I've ever told you about him. His name was Kevin and I lived with him for um, a year. We 
started dating around February and broke up around and moved in together and like we lived kind of together all summer and then um, we uh, moved in together in August and broke up in like December it didn't really work out very well we stayed living together and we're still like friends I mean it's nothing like I don't know he has a girlfriend now and everything we've it's been over it's been what three years two years three years been about three years since we uh, have been together so it's like nothing but he's the last person that I felt this way about since like I don't know so it's kind of like a really awesome feeling to like have that sort of giddiness and that excitement and that like I don't know you guys are probably like okay Kelly nobody cares but I hope you guys care because I'm happy coffee <laughs> so what do you think do we need coffee yeah funny funny Hey, bunny, bunny. Waiting in line forever. But we need coffee. It's such a beautiful day out today. It's 80, what is it, 81 degrees? Yep. Yeah. Nice so I day. decided to take a different way to go to the grocery store. Bad idea. I've been sitting in traffic for a while. It's such a nice day out though today. Like, I should be out by the pool. But this was not a good idea, Callie. Oh well, what are you gonna do? I'm going to the grocery store now to pick up some groceries to make spring rolls for dinner tonight. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hey, coffee! Just got out of class. So I'm taking B to go get a cup of coffee with me. Cause I'm pretty tired and I kinda really want KFC mashed potatoes and I kinda might get them. Yikes! I'm a horrible person! Not really, but I'm just really craving them. That's okay, right? y'all are having a great today, Wednesday. I know me and B are. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's like 67, but it's way hotter than that. I'm like sweating. I just walked home from class. I just got out of the vets with Izzy to just get some shots, some normal shots to board her while I go away this weekend. And, oh my God. He told me that she has a heart murmur. God. I don't know. Why am I just, I couldn't do it without her. I can't. There's just no way. I just, I don't know how bad it is. I have to go back in two weeks to get more tests done. Depending on the heart murmur, a lot of different things could happen. So it makes me really nervous and scared. And then, uh, I can't do it without my dog. I don't know what I would do. I can't think about it because I would just be lost and in that little face. How could anything be wrong with her? Long time no vlog. <laughs> it's been so long since I vlogged and I look like a mess. I don't know why I decided to just vlog randomly right now. I'm on my way home. I just stopped at the store to pick up a couple of things, some toilet paper and dish soap and stuff. And then it turned into 70 or 80 something dollars worth of makeup. What do I do? <laughs> um, but I didn't do an FIF this month. So I wanted to try some new products and still review them on, you know, still like an FIF. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing some Maybelline products just a little bit differently. I'll still just do them on Fridays and let you guys know and stuff like that. So, um, today's Friday. So I figured I could post one today. I only missed one. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm just headed back now to my house. Sorry, I've been such a bad vlogger. Um, I've been, uh, seeing this guy. So, oh, look at this cute zit I got chilling on my face. Um, but I've been seeing this guy and we've just been really enjoying spring break and just kind of hanging out a lot and uh, he knows I do YouTube, he's watched my videos and stuff, but I don't really feel like 
putting him on camera <laughs> just yet. Anyways, I don't think he even wants to be in general, so I don't know if he'll ever be. Um, but regardless, who cares, right? So I can still vlog and I'm gonna still vlog for you guys. Probably not as often because we literally hang out all the time. Not that that's a bad thing by any means, but we hang out a lot. So instead of just chilling at home or doing things by myself, like I was when Mike left, because you know me and Mike were like joined at the hip and we did everything together and then he moved away. So now um, I've been hanging out with James a lot and you know, I'm no longer by myself all the time. So I don't have as much time to vlog, but I can still make it work. I'm on spring break right now. We got back from Savannah. We spent two days in Savannah, Georgia, which was really fun. I think I got a small clip of it, um, but basically my phone was about to die like the entire time. So anyways, um, yeah, we went to Savannah and he's uh, back where he's from right now. Well, he's not, well, he's, he's in Florida still, so. but he's, uh, doing some stuff and I just left and I'm going to film some videos. I have a lot of videos to film. I've kind of been slacking on that too. So I need to kind of pick that back up, get with it. So I figured some new beauty products would be the perfect way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and go home and film, edit some videos and just kind of relax and kind of get back into the swing of my things. Um, take B for a walk. It's kind of a chilly day. It's like 63 out right now. But that's kind of normal because it's daily savings time has me all messed up. But Anyways, yeah, so I hope you guys are happy that I'm back to vlogging. I know you guys, a lot of you missed it. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I've been seeing your comments like, oh, when are you going to vlog again? So, I'm back, hopefully, for a little while and everything. Um, but I've just been kind of trying to enjoy life, and I really have been. I've been so happy, you guys. Like, it's insane. It's insane. It's insane. So, yeah, everything's going really good. I miss you guys a lot, though, and I'm not going to abandon you. Don't worry. But I'm just kind of trying to enjoy my last, you know, little bit. Because I literally graduate in, like, a couple months, you guys. My parents are already booking their plane tickets to come watch me graduate, which I'm really nervous about as well because they're divorced, and it's going to be, like, their first time coming together. Um, and my dad's bringing his girlfriend, which I wasn't thrilled about, but I know that she, I, I like her. I have no problem with her and I know that he's really happy and she makes him really happy. I'm just kind of worried for my mom, but you know, it's time that she gets over everything too. So I think it might be good. I hope it's good because it is an important time in my life and I want everything to go really well. So, and then a little update on Bella is that, you know, she's, doing fine um, I put her in a kennel while we were gone in Savannah and she did really well I said she was fine and she seemed happy when she got home um, nothing seriously wrong the doctor just told me to watch for coughing and she hasn't been coughing she's a little horsey voice but I think that was probably because she was probably barking at the kennel or something but anyways oh they're painting my building still and hopefully I can get my parking spot back because I'm sick of parking on the street anyways you guys um, I'm home and I will talk to y'all later. Home. Oh, have you guys ever tried this drink? I picked this up while it was at the store. It's the Illy, I think. I L L Y. The it's like an iced coffee with cocoa, non-fat milk drink. I don't know. I wanted to try it. it only has 100 calories per serving, and um, I just feel like whenever I make coffee and I try to ice it, it just never tastes the same. Oh, oh, you do do this all the way down. That's weird. I don't know. Anyhow. Oh, so you can see, I guess, how much is left. Anyways, I'm excited to try it. I'll let you know it's how It's all it. right. It's not bad. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's not a bad iced coffee drink. But have you tasted the other ones that they have out there, like the Coffee Mate ones or something like that? I think they have more than just, like, this one. This one was just the one that I thought might be the best. Gosh, my refrigerator is full. I literally have no place to put everything. I really need to like clean some stuff out. Organize. Oy. I, mean, I really have no place to put this coffee right now. Stay. Look, it's like a balancing act. Belle's like, I'll eat some of that food for you. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get set up and start filming and make this look a little bit more presentable. Mm hmm. Hey guys, so I just got done doing a Tone It Up workout. I did the kettlebell one. And before that, I filmed an FIF. Um, so I just had my filming station set up over there. I am um, uploading right now my 
I'm exhausted. I'm uploading right now my, um, my what? My current drugstore favorites and my FIF. So I should be going live soon. And I'm looking for some shorts to put on. Here we go, we'll just wear these because it's really, really hot. And I'm ready to go for a run. I like to go for a run after I do a little bit of workout. So I just did the kettlebell Love Your Body series from Tone It Up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take Bella for a run and then come back. It's about, what, 1.20. So, yeah, I don't really have that much else planned for the day. I'm just going to work out. I'm going to come back, shower, and then I want to film, like, one or two videos. I'm going to film a little drugstore haul. Not my socks, but <laughs> those products. And, um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. I might film uh, Girl Talk Get Ready With Me. Sounds like fun, right? Oh, I'm dying. My arms. My booty. This workout kills me and makes me sore for the next like couple of days. So that's good because it's becoming summer season and I need to get my booty working so I can have a good summer bod. So anyways, hope y'all are having a good, what is today, Friday? I'm all messed up because it's spring break. But I hope y'all are having a good Friday. So, happy Sunday. Happy last day of spring break. Sorry, my hair looks kind of look bald. Anyways, um, I spent the day with um, a friend. Good friend. <laughs> um, that boy. We went to the History, History Museum, which was really cool. It was a lot of fun. It was actually a really good museum. We walk by it quite a few times, so we decided to go today. And then we ate lunch at the Columbia Cafe, which is just downstairs. So it was really good. We had a Cuban sandwich and split a salad and just yes, was good and uh, I just finished filming a little drugstore haul and I'm actually gonna run to Sally's because I want to pick up my Orly Bonder base because I've been seriously noticing a huge difference in my nail polish wear time it's like sucky so I'm gonna go um, pick up that now um, and um, yeah I'm gonna edit while I'm editing while I'm watching Love Nectar right yeah, Love Nectar 13. And um, I'm going to edit my drugstore haul after I get back from uh, Sally's. So, oh, let's see what I actually end up coming out with because I always just go there for, like, one thing and then I'll come out with, like, a billion things. So, anyways, what you doing, Beezy? Look at my Beezy Weezy. Oh, I guess I could put back on this necklace. Want to see an outfit today? Except I have my hair down, but right now it's driving me nutty. Oh, hello. It's driving me nutty, so I put it up. This pink top is from Old Navy, if you watched my recent haul on my main channel. And then my necklace, oh, sorry, my necklace is from Pop Sugar. I got it in a Pop Sugar box. Um, I don't know who it's by, but I got it in a Pop Sugar box. And then my jeans are just Hollister cuffed at the bottom. And then I think I was wearing just, like, sandals. I don't remember. Anyways, I'm going to run to... Shot that out of Sally's and I got my Orly Bonder nail polish base. It's my favorite. It's like a rubberized base. It's amazing. And then China Glaze was buy one get one. So I got Shocking Pink which is like my favorite nail polish to wear on my toes. It's like a neon pink. And then I got um, Loves a Beach. So it's just like a nice neon, like a darker pink. So anyways, yeah, that's all I needed and I'm headed home now. Hey guys. So I'm just getting out of my parking garage at school. Well, I'm not even close. Why did I start vlogging so soon? It's going to be forever. Look at that yucky sticky thing I have on my window. No bueno. When I park at um, my friend's house, they get stuck on the window if you stay there. So, <sighs> oh well. Sorry, you probably can't even see me. Um, it's like noon. I just got out of class. He let us out early. First day back from spring break. I did not even want to go to class, but I'm glad I did. Um, so yeah, I'm leaving now. It's raining out. It's not like super rainy. It's about 75 and yucky, windy and gross. But I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Um, I really want to make a peanut stir fry tonight. Mm, that sounds so good to me right now. So we think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some ingredients to make a stir fry. And um, I'm also going to pick up stuff to make frozen ba chocolate frozen bananas because those are my favorites. And some mango, some frozen mango because I love snacking on that. And then, um, oh, I'm also going to be making iced coffee. So I think this may seem like, Doug, how hard is it to make iced coffee? 
but um, I looked up a recipe because Starbucks doesn't actually brew their iced coffee. Well, that's what the website says. You guys can clear it up if that's if you work there and you know that's not true. Um, but most websites say that Starbucks doesn't actually brew their coffee. They like soak it almost like a make like a strong, I don't know how you call it, but basically you just soak the grounds in cold water and for like eight hours and that's how you make iced coffee and then uh yeah so I think I'm gonna try doing that today so I'm gonna pick up some coffee do that and then buy like a little like dispenser thing they say it'll last up to a couple of weeks so I definitely think that a whole packet of coffee well that's a lot of coffee oh well it'll be really strong coffee but anyways I'm kind of excited to try that out so I'll let you know how that goes Ooh, finally out of the parking garage and into the not so sunniness of Tampa today. It's pretty dreary. I didn't even want to get out of bed. I just kind of want to sleep all day. All right. it so it looks like I'm making brownies, but this is coffee. I have coffee sitting in these two containers. I put this whole thing of the Pike Place Roast in medium in two gallons of water. One pound of coffee per two gallons of cold water. And I'm gonna let that sit for about eight hours. There's like hurricane or tornado force winds out there. I don't know if you guys can see how bad it's raining and blowing out there. It's pretty scary. Winnie hates the thunder, huh? He's a dude. Hey guys, so I am on my way back to Walmart because I just went there to buy like a drink dispenser, like one of those glass things with like the little nozzle on it to put my iced coffee in. Um, and I was like filtering it through and all of a sudden it's just like dumping out and it's like cracked on the little like nozzle. So I'm like, what the freak? So I started like going through all of that process and then coffee was just running down the drain. I was like, oh, this is so annoying. So anyways, I'm headed, um, back to the store now to return it and get a new one it's raining out and I don't really want to go but I don't want to leave this coffee just like, chilling um like you know on my counter because I'm gonna cook stir fry tonight for dinner um for me and James so yeah and then I wanted to actually it's like six o'clock now I wanted to do my uh I bought a like a what do you call it a carpet shampoo because I wanted to shampoo my carpet because there's just like nasty stains on my carpet and I wanted to take care of that but looks like I'm probably gonna have to wait until uh, later to do that or even tomorrow it's just like I don't know when I'm gonna get it done I have a busy week this week you guys with like so much school stuff so hopefully I can find some time to do that uh, but I could do it tomorrow morning before I do anything I have to also I got into a car accident it wasn't my fault some lady sideswiped me um, through an intersection it's not bad or anything I wasn't injured and the damage is really minimal thank goodness and no one was hurt so it's not like a huge deal um, but I have to go get a rental car and do that on Wednesday so that just adds to my list of a bunch of stuff that I have to get done um, are you gonna let me in lady um, you know, and I have a test on Thursday, and I have a pitch on Thursday, and I just have a lot going on. So, um, yeah, I think I might skip my Monday, my Wednesday night class because I have just so much going on that it might be best for me to just, I haven't missed a class of it yet. It might be best for me to just kind of take that time to study. We'll see how the week goes, um, but as of right now, I'm driving back to Walmart to go get a new glass thing and I hope they have more of it I don't I don't even remember I think they did and the horrible thing is I even like picked it up and took it out and looked at it just to make sure that the glass wasn't broken but little did I know that the nozzle was cracked what a bummer oh well what are you gonna do right I just wish it wasn't pouring it would have been a lot less you know of a mess but oh, well. so I just got out of the storm and it was so sweet it's like pouring rain out right now and I was having I pulled into a parking spot and there was a bunch of carts. Don't you hate when people leave their carts like in the middle of a parking spot? You're like, really? Are you that lazy? Like you can't just put it back in the cart? I mean, in the cart return, whatever. What do you expect, right? So anyways, I could was getting ready to pull back out because I couldn't fit in there because there were two carts just in the middle of the thing. And there was one like right next to it. So I was just gonna pull out and move around. And I was waiting for this guy to walk behind me and then he like moved them out of my way for me. He was so sweet. I was like, wow, there are like really nice people in this world. Like he, in the pouring rain, got out, moved. I mean, 
offered to move the carts for me. It was the sweetest thing, so I was able to get in my parking spot. I was really happy, and if you can't tell, I got Jolly Ranchers, so I returned my drink maker. They had more. I checked this one. It's not broken, hopefully, and I got a bag of Jolly Ranchers. Mm, winner, winner. <laughs> she doesn't want to have a dance party with me.